Let's now review one of the APC's presidential campaign trails. APC, we go rule Nigeria. APC, Supporters of the All Progressives Congress gather to kick off the party's presidential campaign at the main bowl of the Adokie Amersimeka Stadium in Port Harcourt, River State. APC, we go rule Nigeria. Immediately, the crowd settled for the business of the day. The host governor, Chibuke Amechi, made it to the podium with his trademark Otweke song before making an appeal for mass endorsement of the General Buhari and Professor Shimbajo's candidacy. Today is the day of General Muhammadu Buhari and Professor Shibanjo. And then the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Aminu Tambua, together with the party's national chairman, John Uyegun, came vast support for the APC. Nigeria deserves a better leadership, as by the grace of God is and will be exemplified by General Muhammad Buhari. His records speak for him. If you want corruption wiped out, who are you going to vote for? The high point of the event was the presentation of the APC presidential candidate, General Muhammad Buhari, as he makes a very brief speech, but not without criticizing the government's efforts against insecurity. APC. The fundamental issues facing this country is insecurity and the problem of the economy, which was being made worse by corruption. I assure you that we are going to finally assemble a competent team of Nigerians to efficiently manage this country. I am appealing to you, the damage that has been done to this country is great. The level of unemployment, the level of insecurity is intolerable. The rally ends with everyone returning to base, perhaps to consider the campaign promises of the political parties in order to choose their next leaders. There are reports going round on the stand of the APC's presidential flag bearer, General Muhammad Buhari, regarding whether or not he would be probing past military regimes in Nigeria. His party, the APC, has frowned at the purported postponement of the forthcoming elections. We had a chat with the Director of Communications, Buhari Campaign Organizations, Mr. Garba Shew. He says the PDP is in a state of panic because of the reality of a looming defeat at the polls. Mr. Shew also says the EU concern on the northern insurgency is an indictment on the PDP. Take a listen. There isn't any such clamor for there to be a postponement of this election. Why should it be postponed? It is because the ruling party, the PDP, and the presidency seem to have realized at this point that they, they are not moving towards February election with the momentum. So what do they want to do? They want to freeze the process. They want to do a catch-up. We in the APC, we believe that we have the momentum going into the election. We're destined for victory. So your opponent wants to hold you down because they want to do a catch-up. Is the APC not making this a do-or-die affair, uh, not minding the situation in the Northeast? And also, would you want to whisk away the advice of someone in position of a national security advisor? and also with the challenges the INEC is having with the PVC. Well, let me say that the National Security Advisor is a distinguished Nigerian. I have no basis upon which I will question his patriotism. But don't forget that insofar as he is an, an employee of government, he has been hired by one man, the president, to serve him. You know what happens in this country? In countries where institutions worked, institutions are safeguarded or insulated from 
personality, you know, cult influences of that nature. You can assume that 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 advice coming from officers such as that one are dispassionate and in the best national interest. For all we can see, the advice that this election should be suspended coming from the end is purely, purely self-serving for the administration. How do you see the European Union raising concern about the situation in the Northeast? They are saying that it would not monitor election in the Northeast. Monitoring by E or any other body is not a sine qua non. It's not a precondition for credibility or acceptance of electoral results. If EU and the civil society and all of other monitors are present, they will help us to keep a watch so that wrong things are not done. But that is not to say that where the monitoring is absent, election results are not valid. That's not what our constitution says. So let's be clear about this thing. We would have loved that they are there, but somebody needed to safeguard them. They needed to be safe in monitoring the election. So what they are saying is actually it's an indictment of the sitting administration of this country because the government of this country ought to provide a fair environment conducive, safe enough for the voter to exercise their all right, choosing who they want to govern them. What do you make of the EU concern? Does that not suggest that elections should be postponed? Northeast is the reason why this election should hold. The situation in the Northeast and in all other parts of the country where insecurity and violence and kidnapping and the theft and robbery is the order of the day, corruption, that is precisely why these elections must hold. How are you going to react to the PVC controversy? It's just a few days to the elections and yet there are still so many complaints about the issue of the PVC. All I need to hear from INEC is that they have all of the cards present in the country. And I'm, I have heard that they said they have given a timeline. I think by the end of this month, they are going to have about everything that is left in the country. Now, it is a citizen's duty to now come forward and take their cards. Now, it's very encouraging also that INEC is saying they will be distributing these cards up to the 13th of February, barely 24 hours before the election. Now, if the openings are made for everyone to come and take their cards and a citizen XYZ decides that it is not worth his or her own time and that they fail to turn up to take their cards, INEC must not be blamed for this. The electoral system, the electoral process must proceed without that guy who says he or she is simply unprepared to be a part of it. How do you see the call that not just the PVC should be used. In fact, some have even taken INEC to court that it should stop INEC from insisting that it's just the PVC that it should be used, that it could use other forms like the temporary voter cards. No voter should be denied of, their, of an opportunity or their chance to vote. Now, I am convinced that, that INEC is fully conscious of the challenges that they face and uh, that they will deliver on the PVCs before the elections. Let's look at the Buhari certificate saga. Don't you see this as a dent on Buhari's campaign or a setback? For us, that issue is closed. It's over. We, we've done, we've, what did you need to prove? Do you know that there are not less than three Supreme Court decisions? over time, which have clearly said that the possession of a certificate work was not a requirement, was not a absolutely necessary for election. That's one. The law says that, that the equivalency of work, of school certificate, is what is required of anybody. Now, here is a general in the army who, who had gone to to, to, to War College in U.S. The War College itself is saying the certificate we issued him is the equivalent of a master's degree. If somebody is qualified to be called a master of arts or master of science. 
and you are saying no, the issue is secondary school certificate. The reason why they have dwelled on this issue and they can't get away with it is a threshold issue for the PDP because they don't have anything that they can hold Buhari to account for. And that will be all on this episode of Roadmap 2015. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the program on Channels Television. Don't forget to send your comments on our various social media platforms shown on your screen. Many thanks for watching. I am Binga Ashiru saying goodbye.